Hello everyone, I'm Stella. I'm Tarrant. From Ipul University. Very excited. Today we are going to play Three Sisters, which is from the creators of Flip the Dice game, one of my favorite roll and write game, which is kind of like heavy, not heavy, medium, medium complexity. It's not very light. So um, how's everybody? Good morning, afternoon, evening. Wherever you are, I can see that uh, I've got some people popped in already in the chat. So hello to everybody. I've got um, Monica, who's um, very, um, it's pretty much the game is made for her because she's part of the three sister, in the middle of the three sister. Um, this is just based on the chat. I don't know Monica personally. Um, so thank you for sharing that. And this is like the game Three Sisters, which is, um, you know, historically, in, in, indigenous people um, using to plant these three sisters, which is corns, beans, and squash. So they're actually uh, like a mutual beneficial when you plant them together. Corns will be there, get nitrogen from the beans, beans will go up, climb on the corns, and squash just keeps the weeds and the pests away. So that's why it's three sisters. So uh, welcome everybody, and we, um, as usual, we. Uh, uh, we have a giveaway. So thanks to Matt or Moda City Gameworks, who will provide a pledge of the game uh, with all the stretch goals and Kickstarters exclusive when the game is fulfilled. Yes. Sorry, Taryn. I just let you just sit there and looking pretty. <laughs> I'm sitting here. Sitting here and looking pretty. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so yeah, thanks to uh, Motor City Gameworks, we'll have that and we will go overview, uh, go through the overview of the game, we'll play the game and we'll draw the winner at the end of this playthrough. So t stay tuned, we'll, we'll announce it then. Um, and then we're just saying hello to YMC3 Troublemakers. Oh, I should say hello graduates. We, I always forget, we meet university and they're all graduates. YMC and uh, the three troublemakers, uh, we've got Colin, Andrew, um, Kevin, Elena, Kevin, Neil, um, Monica, isn't it pumpkin in the game? It's actually squash. Well, it says on the thing. It's it's, it's different in a couple of places actually. Yes. It says squash in the rule book. It says pumpkin on the um, in the shed space. It, it does look pumpkin. I I said pumpkin as well, but I just look at the rule book. So either way, uh, Pavlos is here. A pollen, pollen in the steam up. Uh, Steam up Feast of Dimson game. <laughs> Burning out. Hello everyone and how's your weekend going? Dutch Yoda. Troublemaker number two here. Troublemaker three and on her way. It's good to hear everybody is, is doing well. We are not, we're good here. We are, we just actually came back from our short trip. Terrence on annual leave. So I took him to a surprise thing. This is basically our first honeymoon since our wedding in November. So we just went somewhere close, about an hour and a bit away. Just in case. I don't want the risk of having the state border closing on us. Did you like your trip, Tara? What do you think? Yes, <laughs> it was a good time away. You just like short answers. Oh, yeah. it was fun. Do you like it? You sure he doesn't like it? Hmm. It was good. Okay, good. It was a good holiday. Okay, okay, good. So, uh, shall we take it to the table and explain? So, um, I'm gonna um, quickly show you this one. So. This is going to be our main camera, but um, why Taryn doesn't have it? Because Taryn's one is on the side camera. So just to um, do a bit of a close up look so you can see what's what's going on. Um, also, please tell us if you are familiar or if you have played Fleet the Dice game. I think this is probably like maybe like 80% similar or something like that. Mechanics are very similar. Yeah. Different. Different board to play with, but yeah, very similar um, vibe, vibe, as you'll see if you're familiar with that game. Mm. But there's also differences in here that makes it so good. Yep. Well, that's a spoiler, sorry, I shouldn't say anything. But anyways, parent. <laughs> yeah. um, jump to the, the oh, main camera. Giggles, giggles. Sorry, yes, just excited. <laughs> yep, uh, jump to the main camera first. Mm -hmm. I'm show this. So... Uh, this, like Fleet the Dice game, is a dice drafting roll and write. It plays over eight rounds, which we track here. So on each round, uh, we would roll the dice, and we've got this little rondel here. This is Farmer Edith, and we place the dice in uh, groups of matching number in ascending order around 
here. So this is an example. Uh, and then starting from the first player, we get to draft one die each. And then of the two that are left, each player gets to uh, play the die that is lowest numbered. So we each get to play two, two dice per round. When you play a die, you get to either plant crops or water crops in the garden region of that number. And you get to do the action on the rondel underneath. Uh, and we'll sort of see what those are. So we'll get to do that twice per round. And then there's an event at the end of each round. And that's in tiny text, but we'll explain what they are as mm -hmm. they're coming up. This just brought us up, by the way. So mm -hmm. just, we've got this little pumpkin or squash yep. first fly make markers. Yep. yep. Um, then if we jump over to the uh, closer up view, so this is our garden and ultimately we're trying to get as many points as we can through gardening. So we, when we plant, we're planting in these six regions of our garden. Uh, we can build corn and corn is worth three points if you can plant it and then water it three times. Beans are worth one point if you can plant it and water it once, but you can only do that once the corn has grown up to a height of two. Mm -hmm. And then we've got squash or pumpkin around the outside of different heights. Those won't get you points directly, but they will get you goods. And so goods is a secondary scoring track, uh, which gives you extra actions. Fleet the dice game players will be very familiar with this mechanic from the, uh, the coins and stars. But essentially as we gain goods, every fifth good we score will give us an extra action cross off a box anywhere that we want. And the further up you are on this track, the more uh, goodies you'll get when there's a farmer's market. So there's a couple of uh, reasons to do things there. Uh, there are different ways of scoring perennials. And those are these plants down here, which give you different bonuses and points if you can fill up the track. We've got an apiary over here. If you take apiary actions, uh, we've got fruit. Fruit works well with bees. Four different types of fruit, which are worth goods or points or bonus watering. And then we've got the shed. And there's 15 different things you can unlock in the shed and they will combo different actions or different points against all the various other things in the game. So there's a vast variety of ways that you can go about playing this game. We've also got a little compost bin down here. Uh, which you can spend compost to adjust the value on a die when you play it. Just for this um, this playthrough, should we cross out the uh, the so that the numbering is not slightly confusing? Should we just like block this area so that the numbering is correct? Because it's a obviously this is a prototype still. Yep. Yeah. There's a little misnumbering there. Um, we can do that. Yeah. I don't think any, either of us has reached 80 goods in our nah. uh, other plays. So we just cross this off. We'll cross that box yep. off. We'll not use it. Yep. Um, all right. I think I think that's all I can really say quickly up front. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll come into uh, yep. once we get back to the main board. Bless <laughs> <laughs> you. All right. Yeah. So this one. We'll just cross it off because it's just slight. I don't know. Maybe it is meant to be for something else. I don't know. But let's uh, just cross it off. What if I do get eighty goods? Well, you just say that you aren't going to get any good. That's so mean. Mm. <laughs> All right. So we'll um, we'll do our best to step through what we're doing here because um, obviously all the text and icons are very small on this display. Yeah. And hello, uh, Lillian. And um, that's a good question. Kevin asked, what is everyone's favorite roll and roll and write game or flip and write or anything like that? Hadrian's Wall, we've got a life playthrough and how to play and that sort of thing. There's also medium sort of weight. That's um, a good one I would recommend if you mm. like medium, right, uh, medium, medium <laughs> complexity. A fleet, obviously, fleet the dice game by the same creators, two creators. And um, to be fair, Hadrian's Wall is about as heavy as it gets. On, in I think so, right? yeah. I think Roman Roll is Roman the other Roll one. Roman Roll is the other one. Those are probably the played. two that are up the heaviest end. You're correct. And I've played Roman Roll. All sort of played a uh, prototype back in Gen Con, whenever that last Gen Con was allowed. Physical Gen Con. Yeah, I want to know what's everyone's roll and write and flip and write. Um, I think they are not that many anymore that coming out. Uh, I think... Towards a period of time, there's just so many coming out, starting Welcome to 
maybe after the after the uh, welcome to and cartographers boom there were boom. rolling rights everywhere yeah and uh, they went through a lull last year there weren't there weren't that many I've seen mm -hmm. it there's been a few more coming out recently All right. second wave so this is uh, what is this the farmer's skull farmer Edith how about farmer Monica because <laughs> Monica <laughs> is basically is giving us all our farming knowledge yeah yes as long as you give us some tips now <laughs> all right and we've picked pieces that approximately match what the rule book says they're meant to look like um yeah this is prototype. prototypes yeah so they are a little bit borrowed yeah okay. ready is the first uh, player yes, first player okay this is our tradition yeah on three mm -hmm. one two three yes Got my card. <laughs> Good cut. I was like looking at her. Mm, out of the three, which one is terrible? I'm sure. No, it is one player. It doesn't really matter who rolls the dice. You roll it off camera. Great. <laughs> That's okay. All right. So we do. So Farmer Edith, aka Monica. So how about Monica Edith? <laughs> is always starts there at the start of the game. So we lay out from Oops, low sorry. number to high number, and then we move. Um, Hang on. Sorry, we're meant to place it on. The farmer first. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. And then move the farmer. Sorry. So we've got relatively high numbers. As we sort of um, showed through the way the rules work, mm -hmm. normally we're all going to get to play a low number. Ah, Cats and Dices are here. Hello. Cats and Dices has got a great Instagram account. Um, that's how I actually found out about about them. Um, my favorite role in right now, welcome to. And. Oh, did. Demeter. I haven't actually heard of that one. Ooh, that one. something to check out. Thank you. All right. I just dropped my pen. Oops. <laughs> it's Monday mo um, It's Sunday morning in Australia. It's about 9.14 a.m. All right. It's almost my full name with middle name Lol. All right. All right. So uh, we, as you said, you'll be, everyone will get to play the lowest remaining number mm -hmm. in addition to the number they pick. Mm -hmm. So from the perspective of filling this board up, you off, you would often want to pick higher numbers, but then the rondel actions underneath may more favor what you're trying to do. What would you want to pick a higher number? Because you won't get higher numbers for free. Ah, uh, okay. That's actually a good so, strategy. No, I never think of that. So, so the, the rondel actions we have, there's shed yeah. time, which lets you fill in a shed square. There's apiary or fruit, which lets you fill in an apiary square or a fruit square. And there's plant or water, which lets you do another planting or another watering. So let's demonstrate. So this is my first action. I'll all pick this six pip die. That means I look at my number six area and I cross, I plant two things in there. So... And planting is crossing off the bottom column mm -hmm. or the bottom square on a new column. Obviously, and then if I choose to water, then you only water on the area which already has something planted. So yep. it goes up. So you can only plant once on that particular column. Yes. Yes. Everything else is watering. Mm -hmm. So watering would be filling the next box mm -hmm. on everything that's planted. And then for the, the board action to shed time, I'm going to try this again. There you go. Taking the, the mulch. mulch action. Mulch so action. The mulch action. Uh, Stella will need to fill in two boxes there before triggering it. Yeah, so there are two little boxes there. Mm -hmm, Once that's awesome. triggered, Stella can uh, skip the... She's going to put the square on it because then it's clear which one is the mulch. There you go. Yep. Okay. Once Stella's done that, she'll be able to skip her rondo action. Thank you. Skip her rondo <laughs> action to do two perennials actions mm -hmm. and fill up these tracks. Seemed really strong last time, so I've got to try to find a way of countering that. I don't know if that's strong. I guess filling up perennials is seemed to be a good way to get points. And it's a good benefits. way to get points. It's also a, a generalization strategy because mm -hmm. each perennial will take you to it's a actually true, step. yeah. But then, you know, you don't get the... You don't... You know, you, you neglect this area, so maybe you can... Focus on that and see what happens. Okay. I'm going to... <laughs> Miller, for once I am right on time for the explanation. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yes. All right. So I'm going to take the number three. I'm going to plant... Uh, I'm going to plant two and I'm going to 
start planting around the outside. And then I get an apiary or fruit action. There's some good bonuses if I get in on the apiary, but I've got to really focus there. So I'm going to start building up my apiary now. Mm. So it feels like a weak first action, but it's going to lead to something better, I'm sure. All right, now we... Now we yeah. each get to do a plant or water so, on location. So the way four. it is is uh, Farmer Edith Monica, was it Monica Edith? Monica Edith is going this way, and the closest is that. Yep. So she still stays in the location yep. that she was in. Okay, so we all uh, water number four. Yep. So I mean, you plant or water. Plant or water, and then plant or water again. Uh, also number four. Yes. Oh. Okay. Fine. One, two. Okay. All right. Uh, now Did I do like well? I do likewise. Yep. So what I can see, because I'm going in on apiary, one of the shed yeah, try that. I'm one of the shed tracks here, or is the hive tool, and when I gain a crocus, it gives me an extra apiary action. So I've got to I've got to unlock this one, and I've got to get some crocuses. And there's mm -hmm. a crocus here. There's not many crocuses actually. There's one up there as well. Yep. So I'm going to plant here mm -hmm. and here because that will help me unlock that crocus. Mm -hmm. Now I've already, I've now harvested this particular pumpkin here. I filled in the circle. That gives me one goods. So I'll cross off one on my goods track. And then I get to do a plant of water. I'm going to cross this one because it's going to give me a nice belt of pumpkins That's here true. and we'll do close up maybe when that happens and I'll do one there so I'm really focusing on my apiary I've never <laughs> seen anyone does apiary in our previous games as well so it'll be this will be good to to see how this works yes uh, okay. I like the um, oh I like the conversations in the chat room sorry I haven't actually been able to um, reply to everybody so um, Veruna, the, oh, there's the meter too. I, I've got to check the meter or Veruna. So, Trails of the Ka Tukana, Milo said. So, that's, uh, that's a lot. Wow. What? When? Okay, this is good. Okay, I'm going to have to look back um, on the chat, which is really good. I really I really want to know what's, um, what the meter is because it looks really good. Okay. Yeah. I must say one that dropped under the radar was mm -hmm. uh, Copenhagen the Roll and Ride. It was a quick oh, yeah, one, but happened? I really enjoyed that one. I'm actually, uh, this is my laptop here, Demeter Board Game <laughs> Geek. I have to look right now. Demeter, so uh, publisher, sorry we are French. That's hilarious. That looks really good. Thank you for letting me know. I'm, I'm definitely, I'm seriously going to look into it because it is just uh, released last year. And it is a uh, animals space exploration theme, paper, pencil, and building. Okay, thank you so much. I'm gonna check it out. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Now we each get the event effect, yep. which in round one is shed. Go ahead and then complete my mulch action over there. I'm, I'm loving this new camera. I just like uh, it is good, and then I think it focuses quicker than the other camera. Anyways, so. Okay. So that is the end of round one. We're an eighth of the way there already. Hmm? So we move on to round two. At I'm the end of this round, player. at the end of this round, it, there will be rain. There will be rain, which means we get to water everything. Well, then, if it's water, I mean, you water only one sex section. Yes. A lazy farmer. Come on, Monica. Oh, there's a lot it? of space to cover. <laughs> yes. All right. So we've got. You three. play Ganymede. It's the same unit as I haven't played Ganymede yet. Oh. You should uh, put it on Instagram, right. so I'll have a look. Uh, maybe cards and dices. Huh? Okay. okay, so the rondel actions this time, we've got another apiary or fruit. We've got another shed time. Why is it there not on from, starting from? This was where the farm oh, was. Oh, right, okay, yeah. And then this one is one compost and four goods. So compost the is the one player. that lets us adjust dice. Yep. And at the moment we have one compost each. Yep. We cross that off to adjust the die number. Mm -hmm. um, and then four goods will help us move up on the goods track. Okay. okay. What would you pick? So you are the first player, indicated by this little pumpkin thing. Speaking about pumpkin, I think Caverna will have a new expansion, which I'm, I really want to try it again. 
um, I don't know if it needs expansion. Well, Caverna versus Agricola, right? And I think I probably like Caverna a little bit better, speaking about, you know, farming theme game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was thinking. Um, so I kind of... This is a tricky one for me because I kind of want the shared, but then if... Thank you, Corolla. I want the apiary as well. So Monica said, I haven't really figured out how Edith places herself between rounds. Me too. So at the end of placing dice, Edith moves to the next space on the rondel, mm -hmm. and that's the starting point for the next round. I haven't actually given everybody the, um, the password for oh, the yes. giveaway. I forgot. So if you're familiar or new, welcome. Um, thank you again for coming to our stream. I would really appreciate if you subscribe to us. But if you want to enter the giveaway, it is mipleuniversity.com slash giveaway. Before you are able to even enter the form, you need to write popcorn as the password. We all in capital letters. So this com uh, this giveaway is for worldwide. I'm gonna do it again just in case. So this co uh, this giveaway is worldwide when the game is fulfilled from Kickstarter, which I am confident that it will. So the password is popcorn. Sometimes the form on the website is a little bit thingy, so you might have to do it again or refresh or go go to the uh, site again. But go there, fill out the password in a simple form. Uh, one person per entry, you get a Kickstarter a pledge of three sisters when it's fulfilled with all the stretch goals and Kickstarter exclusives. So that's fun. That's how you enter and we'll, we'll draw at the end of this live play through. Mm -hmm. mm. Alrighty. Yes. So I will take four. I'm going to continue working on my... Ideally, I didn't want another four. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's okay. So I'm going to plant another two plants. And part of the benefit here is there's still three rain events to come. Mm -hmm. So I know that I don't have to water location number four. Um, all of these corn and all of these uh, ones around the outside will get completed by the end of the game. It's a good question. Corolla says, anyone else's first thought about Curious George, not bees, when you hear apiary? I haven't watched that. Is it the, um, the movie? Curious G George? Or oh, is that... I hear it a lot, but I don't is actually know what, what it is. And Curious George is a children's book. Oh, a children's book. Oh, okay, so there must be apiary there or something like that. Probably. Yeah. And we started to receive the entry. Thank you so much. All right, Tarrant. All right, uh, so that's my planting, and then my apiary or fruit action. I'm going to go on the apiary, mm -hmm. and that gives me a fruit. This game will definitely need a pumpkin start token upgrade. Well, hmm. isn't the scythe has got pumpkin token? Also, uh, no, I got confused. It's got like a bag of wheat. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. All right, and a good early game play is raspberries mm -hmm. for my fruit because that gives me three goods. Now I have four goods, which gets me to the next bonus on the farmer's market. Mm. That's good. So this is what Taryn, I think I'm going to do this as well. Um, crossing this will give you goods, which cross you this and whatever. With fly, Flip the Dice game, when you cross the star, you get to do across another thing of your choice, which is good. Yes. So there's your action. That is my pick. Mm. Interesting, Taryn. I'm going to go here. Number five cross off two and I'd like to um, rather than shed time I'm gonna start on this which well I can also do fruits uh, sorry uh, here oh ooh, hmm it's already AP okay I think I'm gonna go yeah, so uh, because I've crossed off the mulch action, now I can do uh, two of perennials other than whatever it is in the board, which is shared um, from the dice that I took. So I will cross this two and I will get four. One, two, three, four. Yep. All right, and then we both get uh, number three with a compost and four goods. Mm -hmm. So in location three... You plant a water in location three? Yep. And then um, you get one compost and four, um, and four goods. But again, 
I can because I've got the mulch action inside of the board action I want to use the perennials and see what happens so and I will gain my one compost and four goods very good one, two, three, four. So I get, I've crossed one um, star. Yes. We should do this in turn order. So I cross the star yep. as well. So I do f fruit and I get raspberry and I get three. One, two, three. Yep. Okay. All right, and I've uh, gained this and I really want to get my hive tool uh, done before I start mm -hmm. getting crocuses. Hello, Amanda Panda. Amanda Panda loves this game. And Amanda Panda is one of the uh, ones that I um, saw, I think, streaming this on her Twitch. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, everyone should check out Amanda Panda's Twitch account, which I will actually stream with Amanda this Thursday evening, US Canada time. Mm -hmm. And we'll be playing the crew, two players. Well, us and Jarvis, which is mm -hmm. the AI player. But yeah, yay. Okay. So now we get rain, mm -hmm. and we'll do this in turn order as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, rain. Should I actually do um do a zoom in? Maybe it works. No, let's zoom out. <laughs> there you go. You wanna do yours first? Um. Okay. So hopefully that actually helps better. So zoom out a little bit. Okay. There you go. All right, so we rain in number order. So over here in three, I get one, two, three, four. I now harvest mm -hmm. this plant here, which gives me another good, but not enough to trigger another action. And then in location four, one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Okay, so nothing else harvested. Um, that's my rain. All right, my go. Raining Tom, it's raining. No, it's not raining, man. <laughs> Sorry, it's raining water. So mine is crossing off this, this one, uh, auction three. And I think there's location six. There are two of these. Let me go in number order in case things trigger. Oh, sorry. Okay, so forgot. Four, next. four is, this should be, f yeah, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four and go this way one two and i've done the six yep. nothing triggers for me unfortunately okay uh, is that it yes that's it okay so we are back to the main board yep there you go <laughs> Bloop. okay so that's the Hi, end Alda. of round two Kevin, is three sisters considered to be a good entry level for roll and drag games I probably would say not a. Entry I would say level. it's not a good entry level. There's a lot of things to consider. Um, it's a second level. Second level. Okay. So you used to. What's a good uh, entry level then? You think? Welcome to is a good entry level. Welcome to and cartographers. And cartographers. Um, but they both flip and right though. What's roll and right? Oh, Gunshot Clever. Do Gunshot Clever or what's the second one? Gunshot Clever Two. I would recommend that for entry level. Um, because there's kind of like there's a bit of that feeling on the other ones as well. There's another one as well that I like to play. I can't remember. I'm sure. I'm sure. Cat Cafe? Cat Cafe, yeah. Oh, I don't think it's entry level. Oh, it's easy, easy rules, Cat, cat Cafe. But it's not really easy strategy. All right. So I'm the first player again. Yep. So this time we only have ones and fives. Ones are under the farmer's market. And so the farmer's market will give you a bonus based on how many goods you've got. Mm -hmm. uh, the first cut point is four and the second is 20. Mm -hmm. And then we've got apiary and fruit again. And at the end of this round, we will get a farmer's market. Okay, so it's time to push up on your goods production because the more you have, the better. So I don't have 20. I want to get to 20, but I can't get to 20 yet. All right. Hmm. All right, what I'll do, I will get number five. So I'll cross off and plant one, two. And then it says fruit or apiary. I will get, this is interesting thing. 
Okay, I will do this one again instead. So I'll do the perennial section. Mm -hmm. It doesn't give me good stir. But this one does. Blackberries and... Ah! <laughs> it's already... Like, for those who play this, this, is, this could be like one of those things that you... Um... Right, I want to do... Okay, here I'm going to do... I'm going to do daffodil, so one shed and one blank. So the shed action, I'm going to do this one, which means if I do... Is it middle? Yeah. If I do a action in here, I will get plus one compost. Okay. Ah. <laughs> no, I scratched it. Right. Okay. Um, now, as I've already said, I'm going up on apiary, so I've got to take this opportunity. That's actually so true. So with the five, I'm going to plant one and two. Now it's not going to just rain itself into success here, so I've got to three troubles that. versus three sisters. Ooh. And then my next apiary action is not a strong. Lorenzo, one. hello, and Tuan, hello, and uh, how about Railroad Inc? Oh yeah, Railroad Inc. Thank you so much for mentioning that. Ticket slave. Okay. Um. So Colin said, does the game take much longer at four players than two players? I don't think it takes that, or maybe it's longer, but it's... It should take 40% longer. Yeah. So we actually play uh, playing in the kind of like lower phase and then one person at a time. Otherwise, you can do it sim simultaneously. This is just for the life through, so it is longer. Okay. Um, and also, um, oh, Tama say you got a... You gotta get a nice uh, HD overhead camera. Oh, I'm sorry if it's not too... I think what happened is that um, this is... We take it's for live stream. This is a HD camera. It's just that we've already just upgraded. It is actually better than before. It is actually focusing better now. So we'll we'll continue if this camera has got an upgrade, then we'll get it. So thanks for the feedback. And uh, Maria K and a few others and Hexy B C Z is my turn. Thank you. Yep. So yeah. Number one mm -hmm. and a farmer's market. Actually. I think this is, um, I actually stream it at HD. So I don't know if everyone can change, maybe change the settings in YouTube. I don't know if that makes any difference as well. Um, number one. Doo -doo. Okay, so number one, I will cross off this. And, oh, it's a farmer's market. I don't want farmer's market, so I'm going to do this again. So instead of that, I will do two shed in here which is this two so that means it's a shovel spend three component compost for one star so I can turn my compost into that yep. all mm -hmm. right now for me I'm going to plant I'm going to plant these two so I've harvested this one mm -hmm. actually no I'm not going to plant yeah, no, I will plant mm -hmm. that. Yep. So I gain a goods that uh, triggers another action. Brad, hello. Hello, Brad. Excited to see this play. And so I'm going to complete my hive tool. So now when I get a crocus, Mouth. I get plus aviary. Rolling right, yes, indeed. Sorry, mm -hmm. apiary. Mm -hmm. um, and then for my farmer's market action, I get a perennial and a compost. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take the crocus, mm -hmm. which gives me two compost, one compost for this, and an apiary because I've unlocked my high tool. My next apiary step is two fruits. That is good. That's a lot of points. That's probably a good one to focus on. You, you go. You got to go hard. So why is it do we have only one dice here? What's the oh, second we took, one? We took the... Oh, we're doing that both, now? They were both ones, yeah. Oh, okay. I haven't actually started. Yes, you have. No. You've done that. Hmm? Yeah. I've, you've, no, I've done this. No, you've done that. I have? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about it. I got it. No, that was the previous one. No, no you did it because we, we were waiting and then you did the perennials instead of the farmer's market. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, I forgot. I got distracted yeah. with the chat. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so my two fruits... I didn't blame you, though. I do like the chat. Oh my god, Milo! Oh, thank you so much, Milo! Milo uh, is, uh, gave us a super chat. So, mm. five 
is it five pound netherland pound always fun to watch you guys thanks Stella and Taryn oh thank you so much thank you so much Milo I um, really appreciate that um, you, know, uh, you know Milo is one of our regulars and you know I um, I'm hoping that yes um, our playthroughs are um, entertaining enough if not, let me um, get Taron to get uh, his dead jokes. Now you're going to have to think of a dead jokes for this game, Taron. Okay, so with my two fruit, mm -hmm. I gained uh, two raspberries, mm -hmm. which is six goods Very and good. eight point. And that gives me another star. Mm -hmm. And I think with my next star, I'm going to... Because I'm kind of loading up on compost, I think it makes sense for yeah. me to get a shovel as well. So I'm going it's to It's going to be a joke about suffering shovel. AP in the AP area. Oh my gosh, that's a good joke. Coral will, Coral will say that. That makes sense. Yep. That's going to be a good joke about AP for AP area. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, the punchline's ruined now. So oh. Punchline. <laughs> All right. And then the event is we each get a farmer's market again. Yeah. Which um, you go first. Uh -huh. It's a perennial and a compost. Wait, hang on. Farmer's market. No, I haven't got the farmer's market. I just get you one. Skip the farmer's market to do the... Oh, yeah. The two See, I, well, I forgot again. The event. Thank you. Thank you, Taryn. Mm. All right. Mean, sold mean. Farmer's market. You sold mean. Okay. So, a farmer's market is... What is it? A perennial mm -hmm. and a compost. Uh, let's do raspberry. One two three and one compass and then I will get the and another compost for your hydrangea oh yeah thank you and then I will get to have one that I can do um, and I will do actually I'll do raspberries so one two three and that gives me another star and I want to do this one again. Just give me another uh, another three. That's it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I will gain. I'm going to do crocus again, mm -hmm. which gives me a compost and an apiary, no. and the other compost from there. So no uh, no other triggers off that for me. Hi, best of Star Trek. Uh, Miles say this looks more death and more strong than most Rollins, right? Correct, indeed. So it is a um, heavier one, kind of like the medium level. Yep. All right, we up to round four now. Round four, so we will mm -hmm. rain at the end of this round. We've got four uh, different numbers this time. So, so we've got a two on plant or water, we've got a three on shed time, a five on one compost and four goods and a six on apiary. Mm -hmm. Did you and hear about I the? I get to pick first. Did you hear hear about the wooden tractor? It had wooden wheels, a wooden engine, wooden transmission, and wooden work. No. Yes. <laughs> cute. <laughs> it's from Hexy Beast. I say cute. <laughs> Almost like. <laughs> uh, hello, Stella. Funny. I have flip dice game in my truck right now to play solo. Lol. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, I love um, flip the dice game. But um, yeah, 80% the same as this one. So are you the first one? And while Taron yes. is thinking about his turn, this is the password to enter to win a pledge of this. So when the game is fulfilled, get a one copy worldwide to, uh, of one Kickstarter full of all stretch goals and Kickstarters exclusive. Um, that's how you enter. I should probably stand here. It so looks like I'm talking. Oh. Peopleuniversity.com slash giveaway. The password is popcorn in capitals. Has to be in capitals. Yeah. It's actually a think bubble, not a talk bubble. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back to the main board. All right. So I'm taking the six with the apiary action again because I've got to go hard on it if I'm going to make it work. Yep. Uh, so I will... How much rain do I have? I'll need to water this set once in mm -hmm. order to score it. But I'll do that. Okay. This could be un this could be unwise. Hmm. I'm starting to think it's unwise. And then for my apiary, I'm going to make my way up the split hive. Mm -hmm. um, 
which is going to give me plant and water bonuses and a whole lot of fruit. And then hopefully I can make some honey or some wax after that. That is amazing plan. So, okay, I'm going to get number five here. So I'm going to water. Oh, I don't actually want to get number five. I actually get number three because my five was almost full. So I'll get number three here. And then instead of shed time, again, I want to choose to, instead of board action, I take this. So I'm going to go ahead and take interesting. I want to take this two, so plus two and one compass. And because of that, I can do another action to unlock compost stuff. So I want to not compost stuff. So I'm going to cross three of the composts to do uh, to change it into a wild. I'm going to do one of this, the raspberry which gives me three goods, one, two, three, which gives me another well. I'm gonna do it in here, shed, and then I'm gonna cross off the messengers, which gives me one good per blackberry harvest. I'm gonna do like a, um, a square there, so I remember, okay? Okay, so now we both plant and water on two. two. I'll go first. Plant or water, okay. Um, can also spend compost Ooh. to adjust. But I think I shall, I will do it on <laughs> two. I've got one of three troubles. Oh my gosh. Is this, who's this? Is this Waya? Waya change, change her name on YouTube to one of three troubles. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it's Waya, it's a W there. So the, the logo I recognize as Waya's name. Um, and then, uh, yes, Monica, that's correct. It's difficult to make the good choices still. Um, there's so many choices, it's like so many. I try not to be too AP in this game. I think we were AP early yesterday. AP or AP or A. That's what we're learning it, yeah. All right, so I've uh, planted and watered on two. One of three troubles. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, done. Actually, no, I'm going to plant. Oh. Yeah, no, I planted and watered on, on two. Okay. okay. Plant and water. Okay. I want to do... Hmm. Okay. Plant there. And I will use it again for perennials. Surprise or not? So take those two, which gives me three compass. So I've got heaps of compost near here so that I can try to get goodies, good goodies. Anyways, okay, that's it. Let me just have a look if it's worth, no, it's not worth, okay. Okay. Now it's rain, mm -hmm. so I'll rain first. So from one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. Do you want to close up the yeah. ape hairy? Oh no, <laughs> oh no, we ruined it. There's AP hairy, mm -hmm. there's... Ape Harry. <laughs> I just like, and then the Three fact goods. that, and this curious George, oh, I, um, I see it on the top about the, um, was created by two Germans, uh, Corolla, he says, curious George was, curious George was created by two Germans who got married in Brazil and moved to Paris and ended up in New York City where most people think curious George is Seth. Ah, okay, there you go. And then this question here, are not all blank and rights entry level games, except maybe Roman Roll, I think I heard it was complex one yet. <sighs> got we got strawberries. Oh my gosh, strawberries, yeah. Oh yeah, we went to we, we went to strawberry gardens recently in the country Victoria. It was it was actually the strawberries were so amazing. It was so sweet. One of the sweetest strawberries I've ever eaten. Because I'm not really a big fan of like if I can have, if I have, okay, if I have to choose strawberry fresh or strawberry milkshake, I'll probably get stro strawberry milkshakes or ice cream because strawberry is usually not that sweet. But this one is, oh my gosh, I think we have, like between the two of us, we have like 700 grams of strawberries. Right, Tarrant? Um, yes. <laughs> 
Okay, so um, so uh, focusing on the game. Yeah, so I actually had a pretty, I actually had a fairly um, strong rain period there. Oh, very good. Um, did a lot of things. <gasps> I've also now unlocked my shovel, so I can yes. also spend compost on stars if I want to. Very good. Um, and I just need to see whether I want to do that. I've finished my raining now, so there's no uh, strong reason to do that right away. Okay. All right. So my go. Mm -hmm. I will do my rain. So again, number one, I just cross off all the things that I have planted of rain before. So number one, they are two. Number two, they are two. Number three is one, two, three, four. So after this, there is one more rain um, before the game ends, which is at the end of the game. Yeah. Number four. One, two, three, four, which I've unlocked this one here. And that's three goods. One, two, three. And number five. One, two, three, four. And number six is one, two. Okay. Okay. So there will be a farmer's market at the end of this round. We're both now up to over 20, which means we'll get a perennial and a fruit Ooh. for our farmer's market. Thank you. You're our first player. You can keep rolling there. I, I don't mind your rolling, it's pretty good. Watch. I like strawberries best to eat than jam, but I love raspberries jam more than eating raspberries from the bush. Oh, okay. Um, I love raspberries as well. Like there's a raspberry picking thing. Um, I think I also like raspberries in taste like jam or like with scones. <laughs> That's so good. Let's go get it tomorrow. You can go to the get to get that scones and jam and thingy in the um, the Agatha Christie yeah. restaurant thingy. <laughs> we shall see. We'll see. Okay. Uh, oh, Matt. Hello, Matt. Hello. Um, Neil asks, has Kickstarter launched for this? No, but we've put the link in the description of the video. So if you click it and then get notified, and then when it is launched, you'll get notified. I think by next week, it'll be, it'll be live, the Kickstarter. Um, now, uh, thank you, Amanda Panda, for uh, replying to that as well. All right, is it my turn now? Yes. And I'd like to get this one, la, 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 because the only one. Oh, there's nothing in there that I can actually do. Oh yeah, I can. So I'm gonna go. Oh, I can spend compost to actually do another one. Which uh, is it worth it to do? No, I'll just do that. One, two. That's two. So the bins. This is a pretty weak action. I feel for the bins, but that's okay. And the bins is, and I believe it's intended to be that way. It's effectively once you've, if you load up on certain numbers and you mm -hmm. end up with a limited choice mm -hmm. it you still get something for planting them but it penalizes a little bit but yeah. essentially any bean that you plant through the game is going to get rained uh rained into harvest at the very end yeah okay that's actually true all right um that's number one and then the board action is again because i've got this mulch power on my shed uh instead of shed time i will tick off some perennials which I'm going to do... Oh, this is interesting. So this is actually plus one and minus. This might be handy. I'm going to do this. So I'm going to cross off the... Oh, this one, blackberries. Oh my gosh. No, I'm going to cross this one. So this two. So I get one compost. And that means plant and water, I can plus minus one zone by default. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight composts which I can try to push up this. Let's do that. So one, two, three. I'm gonna cross this off, like raspberries. And I'm gonna do one, two, three, which gives me one star, which cross me another raspberries. One, two, three, which gives me one star, which give me another raspberries, and which gives me another one, two, three. Not quite 40 yet, unfortunately. But we'll see. Okay. Okay. So my choices are limited. I'm going to take the two. And I'm going to <laughs> well, you have two or two or two. So I'm going to plant these. I'll be able to come back and water these later. <laughs> and then my 
And then I'm going to farmer's market action. Mm -hmm. My current farmer's market is a perennial and a fruit. So I'll do my perennial first, which is the another crocus, two more compost, and an apiary bonus, which gives me three fruit. I'm going to do all raspberries, which gives me nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine goods. I've now unlocked two stars. Very good. And this is before I place my fruit as well. So <sighs> with two stars. Let me give a zoom in on Tarrant's board because that is a really good thing going on there, Tarrant. I still haven't touched Everdell. Oh no. Um, that's okay. I didn't mean like oh no oh no, but it's like yeah, there's farms as well. I think you like, might enjoy it, Monica, if you um uh, Everdell. Socks rules. Uh, I feel like I'm the only one with the um board game community who didn't like Everdell. That's okay. I mean, I mean, I remember the one game of Everdell was really hard. I just could not find the cards that I want. I think that's just that one game that makes me oh no. But then after that, it's okay. But you know, you have different tastes. That's why there are so many board games. And so, uh, okay, so yeah, different play accounts. Matt, I just saw this was the riddle back duo. Nice, indeed, indeed, yes. The giveaway doesn't work. Oh no, so um, let me quickly take you through again to the giveaway. So, you need to, Milo, this is slightly different than usual. We just kind of like has got a new form. So, you need to type in the popcorn first. If it doesn't work, you go back to do this again, meepleuniversity.com slash giveaway the second time, and then it, the form should open up for you, and then you fill up as usual. So um, let me know how you go. Um, and just maybe if you have questions like this, uh, put it in capital, say giveaway or something, and then hopefully I'll see it. Uh, but yes, it has to be all caps as well. So the word popcorn needs to be all caps and then it will open up to you. So, so far we've got 29 entries. Let me check all the junk mail and everything else. Um, it's all good. All right, Tarrant. Yes, I'm still thinking oh, what, my, <laughs> what my two stars yes. could be. So, so I've got two stars and a fruit. Mm -hmm. One of my stars I'm going to do plant or water times two. And I'm going to plant... <laughs> I like the thinky bubble a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Monica. Terran is still... So I'll plant here to fill these up. And then... Hi, Abner. Welcome. 29 entries and 30 watching. So, so on YouTube, we've got that. Uh, we also online on Twitch and Periscope, which is Twitter, and uh, actually Facebook. So this is multi -thread. We are everywhere, hopefully. Hopefully it works. I really want to get Demeter. I and I like the name of the publisher. Sorry, we are French. Oh, water here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was one of my stars. Yep. My second star is going to go into another perennial crocus mm -hmm. and I'll start working on my honey track. My fruit I can get 16 points if I oh I can get 14 points if I fill up blackberries or 18 if I fill up apples but I'm not really going very much for fruit. Yes. So I might do blackberries. Mm -hmm. That's my fruit. And with all this compost I can take three more stars right now if I want to. That's true. I can um, do it later. Are you going to do that? Let's see. I can... It's all about whether there's anything right now that's <laughs> well, with going the to French apologize, they are Canadian, um, they aren't Canadian lol. <laughs> So much fun when I put an order of the meter and the site I went was in French. I don't speak French at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm so curious about that that game now. So we've got some greenery in the background here, Taron. 
This is concentrating, everybody. Yes, Dad? Um, and this is just my first action as well. There's another one, there's another one coming. So yeah. if I were to spend all of those on fancy labels, I would okay, get a couple Okay, just call you when extra. you're done. Bye. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ultimately, I need to do my carving kit. Mm -hmm. I should probably use this opportunity to look at what else I can do because like the new tractor down down here is also good. It's got 15 points on its own, which is actually not bad at all. I can do all of that at the end of the game. All right, I'm not Done? going to okay. add to anything else. So that was a bit of a long turn, sorry everyone. But So uh, whose turn is it now? All right, so now it's your turn to do two and farmer's market. Oh, you've done that one? Oh, you haven't? Okay. Well, that was what I did, but now we each get to do oh, it again. right. Starting from me? Yep. Okay. So, we're doing this one here, everybody. And uh, for two, I will do this two for the beans. I'm starting the beans now. And, oh, there's a casserole fish. Maybe I should, I don't know. So, that's for the two. And the bottom one, which is the... Farmer market, so I choose to do this one again. So I'm going to do cross off this two, which gives me two composts. So per cross, I get two composts because of this bonus. Hang on, not this one. Where is it? This one. Mm. And gives me blackberry. So I do a blackberry action here. Yep. And uh, blackberry harvest, every time I do blackberry, I get one um, goods. One goods. And then I still have compost that I can use. So I can get to, I think, am I able to get to 40? One, 35 yeah. is the next trigger. Is it? Not 40? Oh, yeah. I should do that because it's almost 35. All right. So I'm going to spend all my three compass here because of this shovel action to get this one. Which give me three, one, two, three, which give me another star that I can use to do blackberries, which means I, because of this mason jar, I get another good. There you go. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. For dun, me. Dun, dun. So I'm now going to water in region two. So one, two, three, four. And five. So if so you look at me looking this goods way for this. a lot because I'm looking at the chat. Yes. I now fill this iris, which gives me plus one compost. I fill this tulip, which gives me a fruit action, which I'll use for raspberries to give me three more goods, which gives me another star, which I can use to finish off the raspberries and get ding, another ding, three ding. goods. Which gives me another star, which I can use on. There's always one person spending track. a lot of time putting down his choices. Low. That's you. <laughs> okay. So that was Sorry. watering um, number two. Um, Abner, Abner likes rolling right. Indeed, it's underappreciated. It's so much fun. Yep. Okay, now I am going to have to water this again at some point before um, before the end of the game because there's only one rain left. And then my farmer's market, I'm on 45 goods, so I get two perennials and a compost. Mm -hmm. So I'll just take the compost now. I get two perennials. I could finish my crocus. Do I have another way of getting crocus? Not easily, so I'll finish okay. the crocus with one of them, uh, which mm -hmm. gives me a... I might actually take the wax apiary track for two points and four goods. And then my second one will be another hyacinth for two more goods, which mm -hmm. gives me another star, which I'll use to go up on wax, get another four wow. goods, which gives me another star which lets me go up on, I'll do honey or wax. Hi, Renee. 
a little late but still want to see part of this game yes Taran is doing his uh, big combo at the moment Neil says seems like the mark of a good game if you have to agonize over your decision like that Taran like that all right um, I will go up on honey to try to to lock in the big points very good so that was my two perennials I took my compost now I can I can I now have 12 compost it's enough for me to fill in the carving kit at the end of the game mm -hmm. uh, if I want because yeah. I'm gonna have a string of wow you got a lot of goods how did that happen um, I started going up on the wax yep. track that's awesome now this is actually so it's one point per harvested pumpkin in the longest chain I've currently got one two three four five six seven eight I will have 10 yeah that's pretty good value for money I'm still gonna hang on to those for now okay okay now we each get a farmers market action dun, dun, dun. all right oh all right, I should probably like zoom in, in the that okay farmers market yep this one this one. Oh, okay that one so that one here let's just do it together because we've done it before Farmer's Market, I've got only up to 35, so I only have two perennials and one compost. It's compost. Two perennial is... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Apple and peach. Maybe it's good to go with that one, but then... Okay. Apple and peach, it is. So mm -hmm. I've got two of those. That means I get a... This one? compost every time I go up here yeah and then apple is this one and peach is this one yeah. and I oh I haven't done the two cross the two yet so I'm gonna go Do ahead hang on no this is this one. Oh, sorry yes oh my gosh yes okay um, and then I can do this one as well if I want to but I'll just probably leave it there okay okay now I'm up to 55 goods, so I get two perennials and a fruit. Um, you haven't used the uh, compost yet. Any plans for it? Yes. We kind of like think towards the end we're probably going to do that. Maybe I should do it now. Maybe I should do it later. I'm going to see how it turns out because I can all do this on the last round, right? You can all do it on the last round and then just yeah. use compost for every everything. Otherwise, you can just plus and minus your die pip. But I can do it for free anyway. Um, by unlocking this iris perennial yep so my two perennials i'm getting hyacinths to get a couple more goods mm -hmm. and then my fruit um at this point i don't have that many fruit actions left so i'm just going to score blackberry points all right next round yes round shed. six shed, shed action. after this din, din, din. i can slowly get confused by how the numbers are placed on the leftmost sheet of yours. What numbers? Is that this one? The numbers. Ah, uh, you go first. All right, let's have a look at this then. Okay, I know I need to water number two again in order to fill those up at the end of the game, and I know I want more apiary, so I think the sensible thing for me to do is to take this. Okay, I'm going to frame the things we get from the shed because that's a good feedback from Monica. That means that you... Is this this one? It's this one. Okay. See, because it is a little bit hard to see otherwise which one's which. Okay. All right, so... This is a prototype, I'm going to water number two. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. So I get a harvest there. I know that number th number two, I don't really need to touch anymore in order to complete all the corn. Uh, then my apiary action is uh, to fill in my honey track for eight points. Mm. All right. It doesn't really matter which one is whether it's which one is. I don't want Taryn to get, I guess. I will get this one. Right. And mm -hmm. then I will... Oh gosh, do I want water, do I want, no, nah, I want to plant the beans. Let's do the beans for three. And then um, as the board action again, I want to use the this 
mulch brunish to do two instead. The first one is this one, and which gives me one compass because of this bonus. And then the second one, I will get. This is interesting. There's no other fruits I can do there, but I would like to go up on iris pretty soon. Okay. Now we got four. Do number four. So I'm going to plant two beans with the number four. Same with me. And then I do a shed action. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, it's my carving kit that's going to give me points. Instead of shed action, I can again go there. But let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I really need to push on this one, I think, to get the points. So. Actually, no? sorry, I'm going to change the carving kit for now. Oh no. Because um, I think I'll get some. Mm, no, I will do the carving kit. Okay. I'm focused on. <laughs> I was going to say if I got the mason jars, I can score a few goods out of blackberries, mm -hmm. but all of my fruit apiary stuff is going into. Well, no, I will get forced to get a fruit at the farmer's market. All right. <laughs> I'm going to do the mason jars instead. Okay. Plus the goods. How many more shed action? Oh, we don't know compared to that. How many more? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm going to just start pushing on this just, um, just in case. Up to 10 for the board action so instead of the board action now I've got the compost I should probably use it now so that I mean I can use it to plant I mean to, to water two things as well if I want to but I don't um, one two three four five six seven eight I've got eight composts that means I can use two of the thing action I'm out of things in here unfortunately <sighs> you know what I'm gonna just leave it there's no urgency at the moment okay okay so now we each get a shed action. Mm -hmm. So why I agonize, I don't know, because there's another shed <laughs> action coming. I, I forgot about kit. that as well. Um, oh. And that's from this event. Yeah. I need to get this one maybe. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And that's the round. So round seven, there'll be a farmer's market at the Two end more. of this round. Two more rounds, Karen. Sorry, I've been missing the chat. Kate says this looks really fun. Abna, uh, all the little components in the game look super cute. This is actually a prototype copy, so we've got we borrowed components from other games. So, yes. but it is going to look like that with the uh, um, in the rulebook with the first player marker looks like that. Orange dice, blue round marker, and the uh, farmer Monica Edith. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we just name it Monica. It's, it's actually farmer Edith. Yeah. Monica is here. Um, Love it. Did a good job with the prototype. I need to work on my strategies. I saw improvement during my place testing on this game. Okay, good to know. Almost done! Kay. I go first. You go first. Five. Uh, do two beans. Mm -hmm. And instead of farmer market. Oh, I don't go shed anymore, do I? I must have got four. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Uh, let me do this too. Okay, I'm going to have to start racking up the points. All right, Karen? All right. Um, so, I'll be able to finish up my apiaries this round. So, I'm going to take two. This also lets me plant some beans in number two. And then get an apiary. So. Okay. And now we do number two. Now we do number two. Oh. This is not good. One, two, okay. Right, I can use, oh my gosh, should I use my compass? That's the that's other question. Yeah, I'll use my compass. I'll cross one off to get, to use number two to S3. You've got the Rs. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you for pointing that out, Taren. So I can actually do that. All right, I'm gonna change it to number three. So I cross two bins here, okay? All right. Uh, and then for my number two, I'm going to... Iris is really good. You can plus one 
zone. Do a lot more flexibility. Plus yeah. minus two. Oh, yeah, one zone. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm I've completely filled my apiary now. I get a Oof. star. Yep. Um, and I'll use that star on. I should not let. I should not let Taryn have them. Doesn't matter. Anyways, yes. Timing doesn't matter too much at the moment because mm -hmm. I've got four stars sitting here in compost yep. that I can use later and it's not really engine building anymore, mm -hmm. it's all... Um, oh, I should have used my compost for this. To, oh, I can't reach 50 anyway, never mind. Okay. Alright, now it is the farmer's market mm -hmm. event. So you get two perennials and a compost. Oh yeah, I forgot the perennials that I get there anyway. So... One, two. And I get, I mm. don't have 70 yet, so I get two perennials and a fruit. So I'll finish off my hyacinth. I will. That is. I'll take a shot. Every, every time I play this game, it's is like the third game I play, I think, or something like that. But yeah. And we'll get a fruit, which is blackberries and one goods. Oh, Terran's so nice. Coral will say he is very nice. That's why I marry him, right? Yes. <laughs> nice and compatible, more important. Nice and compatible, that's actually true. Okay. Did you wait for work? Yes. Forgot to put the word in capital only the first time. Okay, good to know. Thank you so much. Final round. So there will be rain at the end of this round. Mm -hmm. So I've been very careful to make sure that almost everything I've got can be... Rained upon. Rained upon. Um, <laughs> I've good. got one little thing here that's not going to be harvested with rain, mm. which is a little frustrating. I'm going to get some goods out of it. It's going to be awesome. All right. Mm -hmm. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we put it on the farmer, and then from there, from lower to high number in groups. So you are the first player? Yes. Okay. So... It's going to feel a little bit wasteful, but I really need to do the watering. So I'm going to take this six. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to water here. So a single cross for my water, and then I get a shed action. So I'll do carving kit number three. Um, and I'll, I'll work mm -hmm. out what I'll compost at the end of the day. So this one I want to move into number... Ah, uh, is there, I wonder, I, want, I need one more shed time. How do I get that tower? Is there any way I can get shed action? Um, you need two goods. Oh yeah, I need two goods. Okay, yeah, that's right. So if you can get a oh, yeah. tulip and a thing, or do a couple of blackberries Thank you. or something. See, Terrence is nice. All right, I will... What's number four? Number four. Um, okay. So I will do this one. And this one. Mm -hmm. And I use the one, one good. And you get a crocus, but you're full on crocus. Oh yeah, okay. Yep, yep. <sighs> Already full. And then for this action, I'll do... Ooh, peach. Ooh, be peach. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Uh, oh, this one here. Oh, sorry, not this one. This one and let's say this one. Yeah. So this lets me um, harvest or get two goods per harvest peach harvest which I am going to do one, two, three compost to cross off this. Mm -hmm. I can water in one spot, right? Anyway, in one spot. Yeah. Which gives me... Two goods. Yep. Yeah. One, two. And water. And water. So... <sighs> I'm going to water, is this a water? No, that's a plant. You need to plant that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I will water, right, yeah, so it's not very efficient. Anyway, I water 
Oh, I can water here. Okay. This one. This two. This one. Mm -hmm. And this one. And uh, what else? And oh, yeah, the star. One. Oh, sorry. Thank you. You'll catch it in the rain anyway. But yeah. And, and star. I've got one star. Yep. Which this is the plan, but is there any other more efficient things? I don't think there is. Okay, I'm gonna go there. Just lock that in. Okay, good. I'll, I've got a lot of beans. So I have to get extra one point for two beans. Is good. Okay, so mm -hmm. that means we both get a three apiary or fruit. Yep. Um, I go first. I will do it simultaneously. It's okay. All right. Well, I'll plant two beans. And then I'll get Oops. blackberries. Oh yeah, okay. One. Oh, is there anything else that's better? Yeah, no, it's okay. One, two. Um, and I will get this one. So twelve, and one of. Sorry, not this one. This one. Okay. Okay. All right. This is it. Oh, so rain. now it's rain, so, so basically rain and final actions. So mm -hmm. I'll do mine first. You want to zoom in on it? Sure. This is it, everybody. There you go. All right. So location one just gets rain here, doesn't fill up. Location two. Uh, one, two, three, one four, to two players, five, four dice, six, seven, three pillars, eight. five dice. Yes, that's correct, I think. The in three, increase, one, two, increase three, of dice as the number of players, more players are playing. Location four, one, two, three, Yay. four, five, and daffodil, which gives me an iris, which is useless now. A daffodil, which is they also have not helpful. 36 entries now. And three goods, one, two, three. Uh, that gives me a star. It would keep it symmetrical. <laughs> which I can spend on my carving kit. Then in five, one, two, three. And then in six, one, two. So that's five goods. One, two, three, four, five. And a hyacinth, which is full, and a tulip, which Gives me points for peach this harvest, so those mm. those were actually not very useful. This is actually a chance to complete your compost, right? Yep, so now I've got a total of five stars left over that I can use for wow. extra points. Five stars? Amazing. So I've got two... I think I'd get three points out of casseroles. Um, I would get... Four points out of a fruit bowl. I can't get a tractor. So Kevin, it's a little yeah. bit inefficient, but I think. Head rounds. Is that game and trigger, which is this one? Oh, you can't see it, but. Actually, I can get. Alright, I know what I'll do. Head rounds. I'll yes. spend my first star on a casserole dish. I'll spend these three compost on a casserole dish. These three on a blackberry and a good. These three. Hello, we're blitz on gaming. A blackberry and goods. And these three on blackberries and goods. Okay. Donald Do deals Tarrant Master Gardener from Twitch. Yay! Okay. All right. You're up. My last action. Um, you don't use your compost for anything else? Yep, I used it all. I used it all, okay. So I got three blackberries and a casserole dish. All right. Uh, pff, this is a raining action. Mm -hmm. So I will do this one. One, two, three, four. This is just short. Boo. Uh, this, this one, this one, this one. Tulip is this. I should probably do a raining action somehow, somewhere. And that. And that one. No, oh yeah. That's one. For one goods. One goods. Number four. This all fills up with water. Yep. Number five. Number six. 
I need I need a water there. How do I water peaches? Okay, so you could um, spend all of these on a rain yeah, barrel before taking the rain action. That's actually true. And then you get to rain on one, one two, three. One, two, three. Thank you, Taran. See, Taran's really nice. So I will choose that. And I get um, rain at the water zone. So I'll do this one. And that's it. And we're done. Wow, I'm not very efficient in the last round. Like you'd go like this and this and this while I do like... Your early <laughs> rounds pushed you up here very quickly though. Okay, so scoring? Scoring. So let's do one person at a time. Maybe yep. I will write the... Oh, we've got a little track here. Right? Oh yeah, okay, I forgot. All right, so, so garden. garden points first. So we'll do corn then. Means. So we've got mm -hmm. three, six, nine, twelve... 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. 52 garden? Yep. It's more than I realized. Yeah, yeah more than I thought. Very efficient Next one's work. perennials. So you filled almost all of them, so it's 7, plus 12 is 19, plus 10 is 29, plus 10 is 39. Which brings you to 91. Mm -hmm. Apiary, zero. Apiary, zero. <laughs> Fruits. So 5, 7, 8. 8 for raspberries, 9, 4 10, for 11, 12. 12? 12. Oh, I forgot about that. Shed. Takes you to 103. Wow. One, One, two, three, four, five. So five plus one per two beans. Mm -hmm. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. 11. So 16? No, 11 overall. Oh, okay. Plus five. Oh, right, including. Yeah. What's that? 115. Uh, 114, sorry. Thank you. Tarrant. Okay. I think Tarrant got this. Hey, Sarah and Abna. Tacos. What taco soup? What am I. What am I uh, missing here, Monica? I'm making taco soup tomorrow to cheer up a friend. Oh, you're nice. I want taco soup. What's in it? Like tacos and beans and. And beans <laughs> and raspberry. Oh, okay. coriander's. Oh, I feel like nachos now, not tacos. I've got nachos ingredients. Can we have that for lunch? Please. We'll see. Let's count. Okay. Three, <laughs> six, nine, okay. 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39. Um, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 47 for garden. Yep. Perennials. Perennials, 16. Yep. Takes me to 63. Mm -hmm. Apiary is uh, 9 for this track, 18 for this track, and 3 for this track. So maximum apiary points, 30. Fruits. Takes me to 93. Yep. Fruits. Fruits. I've got 14 on blackberries and 8 on raspberries for 22. Mm -hmm. Shit. Takes me to 115. Yep. Which passes you. Oh, well done already. <laughs> and then the shed. Yeah, I've Taren got, got this. One, two. Sorry, I filled this one in as well. Mm -hmm. And this one. So uh, one, two, three, four. My casserole is five, six, seven, oh my God. Uh, eight. Monica. Yep. And then my carving kit, which is one per harvested pumpkin in the longest chain, is nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, wow. seventeen, eighteen. What's that? Just write it down. 18, so 133. Well done, Perrin. Good Very games. Good. Thank you. 
So Taryn is 133 while I've got 114. That is not a close game, everybody. Let me just like put it there. So we can see the old boards here. They look different. Um, I'm heavy on perennials and Terrence have heavy on apiary and then combo each other's. Very well done, Terrence. Yep, we've got a lot of goods out of combining apiary and raspberries and this outer track, which yes. made the later game farmers markets made them useful. The farmers markets they're not super powerful because they're giving you these perennials that you're kind of getting for free. Got it. On an ongoing basis, but there's yeah 30 points in the apiary and. If I just look, you've mm. you've left mm. you've left twelve points on the board in unfinished. I know, corn, I know. And that's that's hurt, that hurts me. Uh, oh, uh, spicy soup. I want it. Tomato juice, cumin, onion, tomato, garlic. I could send you the recipe. <laughs> Can you make it? Taryn wouldn't. Maybe I'm I'm a big bigger fan of soup. Taryn is less fan of uh, fan that of soup. Doesn't fill you up. Sure, send us the uh, the thing. Um, we are all everyone hot. On social media so Taryn well done well done to you good there's always new strategies that you find like no one did apiary and then you combine it right with other things so yeah you've got to be careful because apiary and fruit come from the same action but I mean these raspberries always seem like a good way of building up goods and getting actions and getting good farmers market yeah. stuff and then I'd kind of already managed so there's lots of different ways to, to combo it. I'd been managing this with sort of strategic watering so I knew that the rain would capture everything. That's good. But if you spend a lot of the earlier game planting, then you use the peaches mm -hmm. um, to build it up. Because essentially each of these extra waters could get you... It could be the thing that gets you 12 points. Mm -hmm. I feel like my uh, perennial strategy should be focusing on the things that gives me bonus throughout the games and push it up towards the end. I just didn't didn't really calculate it um, in a, in yeah. a, so in advance properly. There's still well. a lot of points there in in finishing perennials. Yes. Um, certainly, when we played yesterday, you, know, you took that same sort of strategy and destroyed me. And I forget what I was doing, but I. You didn't do I it. did a little bit of apiary. I uh, sort of dabbled in it. Yeah. Whereas this time I took it every chance I could get. And I should probably really block you in apiary. It's like, yeah, Taryn's not doing apiary. There are a couple of spots, but ultimately I was getting a yeah. lot of goods out of this track as well, which would have let me continue moving up there. Very good. Everything, every um, you know, every every game is different, different strategies, which is what the people um, in the chat also saying. Mm. So, uh, ooh. If you enjoy uh, Abner say as a Mexican I can't condone that lol but hey if you enjoy it have it have at it lol <laughs> thank you <laughs> share the recipe uh, and oh it's in B B BGG culinary guild awesome uh, Sarah say I love all the combos you get in the game correct um, looking forward to the fun auditions and yep uh, Coral BGG has culinary guild that's new to me too mm -hmm. so I need to find out as well uh, maybe put in the not in the chat but in the video description um, what now hopefully you all enjoy this um, we're just doing it ourselves because we like doing this not because um, well Motor City Gameworks just providing the give giveaway but um, that's because we are doing this so if you can um, also help us um, we really appreciate if you can hit that like button um, and after this live playthrough I haven't asked this before so if that's okay comments in the um, in the comments not or not in the chat is good but then also um, in the video so that they apparently that helps with with us with the video logarithm or something like algorithm. that algorithm thank you um, that will be awesome so if you can post the link to the recipe there Monica that'll be awesome <laughs> I want that Mm -hmm. And yeah, other things, just, you know, if you can just leave a, a feedback, a comment or anything in the video description later, that will be much appreciated. Now it's time for drawing the winner, yes. Tarrant. So again, this is last chance. We'll just wait a little bit. So put the password first before you can get into the form. It needs to be all in capitals, otherwise it will not work. Um, as tested and tried and tested, mibbleuniversity.com slash giveaway. We are going to draw this in a few minutes time. And the winner will get? 
a pledge of the of this game. Which is? Which is three sisters. <laughs> <laughs> when is it going to be? When it's fulfilled. When what is the pledge? I forget which pledge is it. It's one of the good ones. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. it's, so the uh, Kickstarter pledge is all, uh, all with the Kickstarter exclusive and all the stretch goals. That's it. Yeah. I, I say that three times. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I think what's um, interesting with this game, you know, we've compared it to Fleet the Dice game a lot mm -hmm. because it's a dice drafting roll and write in the same way and the shed works very much like the town. So the goods track is like the coins track. So there's a lot that's similar here. I think the biggest thing that's uh, different is the the planning you've got to do to make sure all of your plants mm -hmm. hit complete mm -hmm. with the rains as they come because you know there's rain in round two rain in round four rain in round eight anything you plant in round one or two will probably get. will definitely get completed mm. and any beans that you plant at any time will get completed by the rain um, and so it's all about there's a lot here in building up a plot at a consistent time mm -hmm. so that you can water it all at the same pace. Um, you can plant beans later if you're forced to take that number. But if you fall behind on some, particularly the ones you plant in rounds three and four, then you've got to think, all right, where am I going to get my extra water from? Am I going to spend a water action, which means I'm not planting? Or if you're going up the hive, there's two waters there. Or if you're planting peaches there's no points in peaches but there's four extra waters which can make up those differences and if you so there's a lot more planning ahead yeah I think I and that's a way it. because if you if you miss out you don't get those points thank you Taryn I think um, the lesson is uh, do not play with Taryn he's too good to beat no I'm kidding play with Taryn because he'll give you strategies as well help from what he knows I'm sure there are other strategies as well we're not designers mm -hmm. obviously I'm sure the designers will have a lot more yeah. And some of the other things that are on here that we didn't uh, look at, neither of us used the pie safe, which mm -hmm. gives you an extra goods when you harvest apples or peaches. Right. Uh, still got the rain barrel. There's the fruit bowl, which is just bonus points if you've generalized on fruit. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to... Yeah. Um, there's a couple here that are just straight points. So the string trimmer, pretty inefficient actually, six points for four boxes. New tractor... If you spend six of your shed actions, you can get 15 points out of it. So pretty, good. pretty reasonable, but no engine but build no. there. Yeah. Fancy labels. I know I used that the first time I played. Mm -hmm. You get an extra perennial every time you take a farmer's market. So it's yeah. a good way of pushing up the farmer's market track. Um, the pitchfork. You got the pitchfork. Ah, what's going on? <laughs> because I changed it. Somebody asked for the giveaway. And one that we're, neither of us has tried is the seed spreader. It takes four uh, four boxes to fill it in but then every time you plant you get to plant three things instead of two mm. so if you work on this really early in the game you can like completely fill that garden yep. up and then do peaches or things that will let you water yeah so um yeah that's um that's uh, the giveaway so that's mapleuniversity.com slash giveaway we're just about to do it now i think we've um talk talk enough yep Tan, you never talk enough for me, to me. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Let's do this, Tarot. Let me see how many, how many, how many, how many, how many, how many? There it is. 41, I believe. Yep. Let me check the other folders, make sure it doesn't go to junk or stuff like that in my thing of the jiggy. Yep. All right. Okay, 41, and that is the... All right, we'll remember that's the last one. Cool. Yep. Mm, let me go to the inbox. Uh, Taryn, would you like to come closer to me? Don't be afraid. There you go. Yep. So, oh, there's another one here, last minute. 43. 42. Sorry, 42. <laughs> so we can see here, let me flick down. So uh, number one is Andrew K, for example. Number two is Colin and Peter and so on. And the last one, number 42, is Zai. Yes. Okay. Okay. Entries Let's. are closed. 42. 42. Yep. And it is closed, everybody. So we've got 42 entries, and we are going to draw now. 
Oh, hang on. There's one last one. Free Blitz Gaming. Uh, gaming sorry. All right. We'll let you in. 43. 43. Let me just do that. Okay. I forgot to stop casting in between, so your face is probably shown in the background anyway. Hmm. <laughs> 43. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Boop. 43 days. And we... Off we go. Now... We're gonna shaky shaky here as well. Drum rolls, correct? Reboot coming, thank you. Yo, um, I got it, uh, Andrew K. I'm somewhere at least. Fresh somewhere, yes. Do, 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 do. Thank you. And we have number. This is where we count. Tarrant. 16. 16. All right, let's have a look back again. From the bottom. That's so, usually eight. Yeah. One, two, three, four, yep. five, six, seven, eight. Nine, then eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Is, is it number six? What, what's number? Six, sixteen. So the next one. Pavlos Kafkias, welcome. Hey, I saw you uh, in the chat before. Let me just quickly make sure I've got all the information here. I mean, I don't even have to check password anymore because if you don't enter the right mm. password, you can't mm. fill up the form. So an upgrade in our form. And um, yeah, yep, I mean, it doesn't so really matter where you are. Congratulations. Congratulations, Pavlos. Pavlos, you won a... A pledge for a pledge. three sisters. So you'll, uh, you'll get it when you receive game. this when the game is fulfilled. Yeah. By the way, uh, I'm not going to say it again. Stick around after the closing credit. All right. So uh, congratulations. We'll contact you after this live playthrough to get your details. And then I'll forward the details to Motor City Gameworks, who will provide the giveaway. Yay. Where's Pafloss? I was like, it was there somewhere before I saw it. Congrats. Pafloss. Kafkias. Yay. Thank you, everyone, for staying around and then chatting. It was an um, interesting chat from everybody. I really thoroughly enjoy it and again if you could help us um after this live later quickly hit that like button and then you know give us a feedback um if you enjoy it so that other people that look at the video can hopefully see your comments i mean i usually look at the comments on the video i don't know if you you would but that would be really helpful if you can just put in the comments so that other people that find this video will be able to get the feedback as well from you um and now Tarrant? That's it from us. That's from us. We uh, The next one will be playing the crew. I'll be playing crew with Amanda Panda, who's um, somewhere here in the chat earlier today. Yeah. Uh, online on Big Board Game Arena. Next Thursday, Friday. Thursday, Thursday evening, US, Canada time. And then next, here's the thing. Next weekend, similar time slot, we'll be playing the new Everdell. I'm very excited for that. Let me just bring the thing quickly, which is over there. Um, we're playing the new, but some of the components will show on the new Everdell that's coming on Kickstarter. So this is what we're going to play next weekend, a similar time slot. So we'll be playing Everdell New Leaf. And we don't need that one, I think. <laughs> Parent. <laughs> next, next weekend, um, if you want to stick around, we'll be playing this. And the giveaway is a pledge of Everdell Big Box. Yes, okay, we need that. Huh. That's it. It's covered. That's that's the giveaway. So um, the pledge of kicks uh, Everdale Big Boss, which has got everything in it. Yes. There you go. So next weekend. Oh, next weekend is Monica's birthday. Happy birthday! Yay. Um, Coralu, uh, you weren't subscribed before. I don't know. Or oh, was it Kawaii? I don't know. It must be like a subscribe button popped up. But anyway, thank you so much, everybody, for staying here. Uh, I love everybody who's been joining, who's joining us today, last time, and the following. And hopefully, we will see you next time. Bye. Maybe not bye. Secret ending time, da -da -da, where we share you our bad dead jokes. Tarrant, how did the farmer get rich? This is very appropriate in this, um, after this Three Sisters playthrough. How did the farmer get rich? 
I mean, there's lots of sensible economic ways that <laughs> could happen, but what's the joke answer? Well, this is very, uh, very thematic to this game as well. He sold his corn st stocks. He sold his corn stocks. We invested in Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> corn stocks, that's it. All right, next. What vegetable do they serve in prison? Um... Dun dun dun. Something about. <laughs> and Taryn starts thinking, yes. Something about. What do they do in prison? The uh, answer is. Salary! 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 A glass one. That would, that would be considered a, an unu a cruel punishment for you as well. <laughs> yes, I don't like salary, unfortunately. All right, last one. Knock knock. Who's there? Justin. Justin who? You are just in time for dinner. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.